Um, hello everyone. So for now, I'll be showing you how to install the IQ software of Corsair in Windows 11. So just open your browser. So just open your browser here and then go to your uh, search engine. I'll use Google and then just search for RQ. So IQ software is uh, under Corsair. Then you can just click on this download thing. And then there's a different version here that you can check uh, which applicable to your system or OS. So I'll be using the IQ version 4 since the latest release. So I'll click this one to download. And I'll just keep this one and then to download the installer. So let's just wait for it to be downloaded. So this might take some time depending on your internet speed. So once the file is done downloading, we can just click on the open file. And then there's a pop-up that will ask you to install so just click on yes and it will now show this window just click on next and then wait for the application to be installed then here just click next you can uncheck and change the default directory but I'll just leave this one as it is then I will just click next okay I will decide later. I'll choose this one. Click next and it will install the driver or software for our Corsair. So even though uh, Corsair IQ software is not yet installed in your machine, uh, the machine can already recognize your mic and your headset. So let's just wait for this one to be finished. So as you can see, the shortcut's now there. And... There's the finish button, so we can actually click on this one to finish our installation. And there's a restart here, so I'll just restart it later. So now we can already open our IQ software. So let's open this one. So it's taking some time since it is uh, just installed so here you can ha you can see the headset itself and the uh, connector or the USB uh, receiver so we can actually change some settings here uh, like the colors so here's the headset so there's an NVIDIA boost here if you're using NVIDIA as your video card so here you can change the colors uh, you can change the setting depending on your preference so for me I usually turn off uh, the colors uh, because it will save some uh, battery life but if you want it uh, to be turned on you can actually turn it on and yeah uh, change the color depending on what you want that's all. I hope this video helped you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for my next tutorial. So thank you for watching guys and see you.